Hello and welcome to the Center for Communication Excellence at Iowa State University's Graduate College. In this tutorial, we'll explore alternative text for figures in your thesis or dissertation documents. Both Microsoft Word and Adobe Acrobat have built-in accessibility features to assist you in making your documents compliant with Iowa State's digital accessibility policy. This policy requires that figures be formatted with embedded alternative text. Technically, decorative figures are exempted from this policy. However, figures included in theses and dissertations are not decorative, and embedded alternative text is always required. This feature makes it easier for you to ensure that your thesis or dissertation is accessible to all readers. Now, let's get started with adding alternative text to your figures. First, click on the image or figure you want to add alternative text to. Next, navigate to the Picture Format ribbon. You'll find it at the top when the image is selected. In the Picture Format ribbon, locate the Alt Text option. Click on it. This will open a text entry field where you can add your alternative text. Now, what are the characteristics of alternative text that's highly effective? First, effective alternative text is succinct, usually around 20 to 125 characters. Second, it provides context and relevance to the surrounding content. And third, it conveys the primary message or purpose of the image. Academic figures can be complex and challenging to describe in a single sentence. To make complex figures easier to understand, in addition to alternative text, you can use captions to provide additional context and reference the figure in the main text for further explanation. Incidentally, the Graduate College at Iowa State no longer requires figure captions to be positioned below the figure. However, it does require that the caption placement be consistent throughout your document. Adding alternative text to figures is a crucial step in making your thesis or dissertation accessible to all readers and we are here to help you every step of the way. If you have any questions or need further assistance, there are additional resources and support available to you. Don't hesitate to reach out to the Format Consultants at the Center for Communication Excellence. Don't forget to explore other tutorials in our series for more guidance on formatting your thesis or dissertation. Thank you for watching.